Hello and welcome to the fifth in a series of Focusrite videos where we'll explore Pro Tools first, which now comes bundled with every Scarlett second generation interface. I've installed the Focusrite Creative Pack upon registering the unit on the Focusrite website. This comprises of the Pro Tools first installer and 12 new powerful plugins. If you also want to benefit from Ableton Live Lite and all of its powerful devices, I'm going to show you a way of combining both Ableton Live Lite and Pro Tools first in one session via rewire mode. So here's a track that I've created in Pro Tools first. Um, I've dragged in some drum loops here. These drum loops are from the Focusrite drum pack that uh, come as standard upon every purchase and registration of the Scarlett interface. And I've also plugged in a guitar straight into input one of the 2i2 and layered up some guitar tracks here. Also, with the powerful synth Expand 2, which comes as part of Pro Tools first, I've created a bass line. So now what I want to do is take advantage of Ableton Live Lite and its devices alongside Pro Tools first. So I'm going to use it in rewire mode. To do this, I need to load a track, select new, and set this to instrument track. I'm going to create a stereo channel, and I'm going to call it Ableton Rewire. Now if I bring up my mixer by hitting command and equals, you'll see my channel here. And I'm going to load in an instrument Ableton Live Stereo. I'm going to set the output to Mix L and Mix R, like so. And now I need to load Ableton Live. If you've registered the Scarlett interface, you will have a version of Ableton Live Lite, which you can use, which works in exactly the same way as I'm using Ableton Live 9 Suite. So upon loading, I'm going to select an instrument. I want some effects or some white noise in the background of the track. So I'm going to select effects. Something like that will do. And now with my MIDI keyboard controller plugged in, in this case the Novation Launch Key 49, I can trigger it and you'll see the audio register in Pro Tools First mixer window. Now what I want to do is create a channel to print this audio onto. So I'm going to go to Track, select New, and I'm going to create a stereo audio track because my Ableton Rewire channel is also stereo. I'm going to click on Create. I'm going to call this Ableton Print. So now I need to set the output of the Ableton Rewire channel to a bus that I'm not using, in this case bus 7 or 8. And then in my print channel I need to set the input to bus 7 and 8. So it's coming out of my Rewire channel and into my audio channel here. Now all that's left to do is record on both channels, switch on input monitoring, and then when I'm ready I hit record and play my part in. And now I'm finished. I've played my part in, it sounded quite tight to me. If I did want to go in and change the MIDI events, I can double click on the channel here and I can highlight all of them. And for example, I can quantize them, change their velocity, change the duration, transpose them and so on. But I'm quite happy with that part. So I'm gonna switch off the record arm I'm going to mute this channel and then I'm going to mix this white noise with the rest of the track. 
because I've got a feeling it's a bit too loud at the moment. So I'm going to hit Command and Equals, and I'll be pulling down the Ableton print channel here. So that sounds pretty good to me. And that's how you use Ableton Live Lite in combination with Pro Tools First via rewire mode. Thanks for watching.